Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is one that I've been wanting to film for quite a while now because I've actually had the bag packed since like 32 weeks I want to say, which is a little bit extreme but I feel like when you are pregnant you literally just want to be organised and sometimes you're kind of just sitting there and you're like there's so many things going through your head and you just want to have one thing organised and one thing where you know that it's going to be fine. So that's kind of where I felt a little bit earlier on in the pregnancy. I kind of just felt like because I finished work quite early, I can't remember when I finished, but I finished on the 4th of January, but I was on like holiday till the 29th and then my maternity started on the 29th of January. Um, and it's now like the 13th of February so I've been off for quite a while and I've had quite a lot of time to just sit back and not really have um, much to do apart from like organised stuff so that's what I've been doing um, yeah packing the baby bag and your hospital bag is such a huge thing and I feel like um, the more organised you can be the better so today's video is what's in my hospital bag now I will say right now that I've got quite a lot of stuff that I'm going to be taking. Baby's bag obviously will be taken in. I have got a big kind of like suitcase hold all and I've got like a tote bag and I've got some other things and I feel like do you know what this video probably will make me look as if I think I'm going on holiday which I absolutely don't. I know that I'm going to be going in to be in a lot of pain, to be cut open probably um and you just don't know what's gonna happen but i know it's not gonna be a holiday luxury experience so if you guys watch this video and you think bloody hell she really thinks she's going on a holiday i don't i just really want to be prepared and i feel like do you know what if there is one time in life where you can be a bougie bitch it's when you're bloody going into hospital to birth a human so Anyone that makes you feel like you're being extreme or that you're just being a diva or whatever for wanting to have things that you think you might need, who cares? Don't listen to them. Let's go on with the video. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is just things for comfort. I have watched so many of these videos and so many videos where the women have had the baby and they're like, do you know what? I really wish I took this with me to hospital because it just would have added to my experience. Or the ones, the videos that I have watched, they're like, best thing that I actually took was this. So, I am taking a blanket from home. Reason I'm taking a blanket from home is because when you're going in to have a baby, not that I've ever had a baby before, but I'm just saying like in general, when you're having a baby, you just want to be comfortable and I have heard as comfortable as you can be. And from the videos that I've watched, um, so many women have said that they've loved taking these items in because it just made them feel comfortable and it just kind of like reminded them of home. So I'm taking a blanket. Probably don't need a blanket, but I'm taking it anyway. Along with that, I'm taking my own pillow um, this isn't actually the pillow that I sleep on, but it's like just a really comfy pillow. Um, so many people have said that the hospital ones are really hard and firm and I'm just someone that's got back, neck, shoulder problems. I need to be comfortable. That's just as simple as that. So yeah, don't need these items, but I'm taking them anyway. Similarly to that, I am taking this bad boy. This is a breastfeeding pillow. Probably don't need to take a breastfeeding pillow, but again, the videos that I've watched, I'm gonna be referring to this a lot, saying the videos I've watched, because I've watched bloody hundreds of them. Um, people have said that if you're planning on breastfeeding, which I am, uh, basically that when you're trying to breastfeed in the hospital, what they do is they like prop you up on pillows and stuff, and it can be really hard to get the right angle. So I just bought one of these little pillows um, I think you can call them like boppies or something like in America or whatever they're called um, but basically it's just a big pillow like this and it just kind of gets you in the right position for breastfeeding and I just feel like if you can make yourself comfortable why wouldn't you? So taking that, poor Adam, he's going to have a few little things to carry. We may have to do two trips for this. Um, so now we get into my actual main bag, which is so heavy, I really don't think I can show you guys, but I will try my best. Oh, this is what it looks like. Basically, it's like a little suitcase one, but I think it'll be too heavy to use as like a suitcase. So we're just going to be using it as a tote bag. Again, not a tote bag. What do you call them? 
whole doll bag. I mentioned in my last video if that one went up first. I don't know if I'm actually putting this one up or the What's in My Baby's Hospital bag went up first. But um, I mentioned in that video about baby brain and just not being able to think straight. That happens all the time in pregnancy. So, guys, what I will say is this video is probably going to be really, really long. So if you want to like nip away, get a drink, get yourself cosy, get yourself all tucked up in bed, I would recommend that because this video is going to be long. It's going to be hella long. So, let's get started. The first thing... And if you watched my other video, the What's in My Baby's Hospital bag, you would have seen that I packed one of these too. This is just a cheeky wee Tesco bag. This is to separate my dirty clothes from the clean ones because obviously um, I'll need to like separate them. I don't want them all mixed up in my bag. I'll be going for like a shower and things in hospital hopefully after the baby's born. So I want to be able to like just separate things clean from dirty just so that when I do come home it's just easy to like chuck everything out um so yeah plastic bag so many people have actually um said to me you need to take a plastic bag because it just makes life easy so that's what we're doing next up i have got my i'm just gonna like pull everything out one by one i've actually got my going home outfit at the top so i'm gonna need to like after this video like move things about so for my going home outfit i have just got one of these little breast feeding tops this is from amazon like i said um in my last video i'm gonna try and put everything in the comments not the comments the description below for you guys in case you see any of this stuff and you want it basically this is just a breastfeeding top so it's a black and white stripy top and it's got like the little flap bit there that obviously you can pull up and feed the baby it's got like a little vest top in the inside so that's going to be my going home top i've actually got another top as well just in case this one gets covered in like milk and stuff because that's gonna happen when you're breastfeeding so this is just a plain little black top from Matalan I've got so many of these and they're just so easy I'm sure that was only like six pounds for that as well so um those are top options obviously just in case one of them gets covered in milk or whatever then I have got a pair of leggings these are from new look and they're actually a godsend i have never been the type of girl to wear leggings i just don't like leggings i don't like that some of them you can see through um yeah i've never been a legging person until i went to new look probably about 20 weeks into my pregnancy and then i found a few pair of these and i've got like four pairs now and i literally live in them they're so comfortable they're thick they're amazing they look nice and they've just got like these little gold zips um these are obviously a size but well they're maternity size they're my matern they're my size but a maternity size which means that they're like a little bit bigger um for stretching as you can see they've got a really thick waistband here um so i'll be wearing these on the way home and uh, they're just actually really nice i think they're like 15 pounds each i'll try and find a link for them but i'm obsessed with these and i will be i really just don't know how i'm going to go back to jeans guys they're so uncomfortable compared to these so that's the leggings to go with the tops and then this is probably why my bag is so heavy because i've got so many chunky things in here you guys probably won't be able to see this very well but this is also from matalan and it's just like this cable knit cardigan i would actually try all these outfits on for you guys but i am really not that advanced with the whole technology thing i wouldn't have a clue how to do it i don't have a macbook i've got a canon g7x camera that i'm filming on at the moment i've got a ring light i currently don't have any editing software on my computer i've just got like a acer laptop so i don't know how to do any of that stuff so if you are looking for like cool montage videos um, you're probably not going to find it from me because I'm shit with things like that basically. But again, I'm really hoping you guys can see this. It's just kind of like a normal long cardigan. Um, it's really thick. Obviously that'll come in useful because it's February time and baby's due on the 2nd of March. But obviously it can come any time now that I'm 37 weeks. So this is really chunky. It takes up a lot of room in my bag but I really just want to be like comfortable but also look kind of cute as cute as you can look after you've just had a baby so that's the going home outfit what's in this little bag oh this little bag has got snacks in it now 
I have bought so many snacks, right, and put it in my bag and I just keep eating them all. So this is all I've got left in my little bag and it looks terrible. So what I need to do is get some more snacks and not be so much of a greedy pig. But we have got these Lucozade, these are the Lucozade orange glucose tablets. I am someone, if I don't eat for a while, just like anyone else, the blood sugars go way down. But I've heard that these are amazing in labour, just to give you a bit of energy. I really don't think this bag will get used. This will probably be like the after labour snack bag. Um, but just in case, Mentos, as you can see, I've been eating them. There was like a pack of four and I kept bloody eating them. And then we also have a pathetic little brunch bar. This is a chocolate chip version. <laughs> like I said, this stuff probably won't get used, but I'm also like a massive snacker. So I can imagine myself being like, Adam, babes, get that bag out. We need some snacks. But first of all, I need to actually fill it. I had humbugs in here. I had Dame bars in here. I had like other chocolate. I just keep eating them all. So I need to stop being greedy, especially now I'm 37 weeks and it could happen any time. I need to stock up and just leave the bag alone is what I need to do. Alongside that, I have got a bottle of Lucozade. Again, I don't know if this will get used. This is Lucozade Orange Sport. Um, this was recommended by quite a lot of people just to kind of keep your energy levels up because believe it or not, pushing a human out is actually quite um, tiring if you didn't know. <laughs> not that I know, but I'm talking like I've had 10 wins, or babies I should say. Wins means kids in Scottish, basically. Um, random pair of socks. Gonna need socks in the hospital. I've got a couple of pair of them. This is... I've also got some flip-flops. I'm gonna take flip-flops and slippers just in case. These are obviously to take in the shower. These are the Bannatine ones when I used to go to the gym and love my little life and then I decided that I didn't want to pay £37 a month to exercise and I would rather spend that on food. So don't go to Bannatine's anymore <laughs> but I bought these flip-flops not long before I like stopped going and yeah I'm just going to use these in the shower to kind of keep my feet off the gross. I know they clean things but you just want to kind of be um, as hygienic as he can so got these little flip flops I can walk around the hospital in these if I want also I've got some little slippers but I'm taking both options also got a big towel I'm not gonna like unfold this um, it's just a black towel obviously this is for the shower and what not I would quite like to wash my hair when I'm in there because I feel like it would just make me feel a little bit fresher but I'm not really too focused on that if I'm being honest. I just want to kind of have the shower. Got some pants, got quite a few pair of these. These are huge. I don't know if I should really show you guys because these are obviously a lot bigger than my actual size. Um, do I show these or not? Okay, I'm going to show them. That's the front and that's the back. These are obviously in a bigger size. My bum is not this big. It's big but it ain't that big, hun. Um, these are bought in a bigger size, obviously, so that they go over, um, basically, I don't know if I'm having a cesarean or not yet, won't know until the time, um, but these are big enough that they kind of go, like, halfway up your stomach, um, and they would, obviously, not rub on any scars or anything, so that's why I've got pants in a bigger size. We're not going to talk any more about them, because it's quite depressing. And then, moving on to pyjamas, I have got three pyjama options. Now, I really, like I said, I don't know how this labour is going to go at all. I have packed this really cute one. It's just this nightie from, where was this from? ASOS, I want to say. I'm probably totally lying. Boohoo. Lying, see? And it just says the beauty and the bump. And I think this is really cute. I have plans to have a water birth. Don't know if that's going to happen. Initially, I bought this thinking, oh, I could wear it in the water. It's like a cover-up. But then the more I read into water births, people said that you really don't want to be wearing too much clothes in there. Because if you've got like a nightie on and you have to get in and out, you're just going to get water everywhere and you're just going to feel like gross and it'll stick to you. So I bought this thinking, oh, I could wear it as like a water birth outfit and I could wear it if I have to have just like a normal... They call it dry land um, when you're just like on the bed having the baby. Um, so 
I'm probably going to use this just on the bed if I have to end up doing that. Like I said, I don't know how it's going to go. I might end up just going into hospital and the clothes I've got on and then taking them all off and having the baby. We don't know how it's going to go. Um, but yeah, that is probably just going to be like a pyjama option now. Um, because obviously when you go into hospital, they do give you like the little gown and stuff like that. So I don't know. We've got this as an option for many different things. Probably not for a water birth. Um, and then alongside that I've got this white one with black polka dots. This is again just another nighty from Matalan. Um, yeah, I don't know how much I'll need this. I have heard a lot of people say that nighties are like one of the best options after labour because obviously you get checked every so often and it's just easier that you don't have like loads of clothes on. So again, another nighty. I don't know how long I'm going to be in for. Got a few options there. Um, and then obviously like a nighty with like a, what would you call it? Dressing gown or something over the top is good. Um, what else have we got in here? More socks. I'm just pulling things out guys because it's just easier. Bruh, I've got three of these. Don't really know why I've got three. I think in my mind I had one for being in the birthing pool, one for going home in and then one just as like a spare. So three is actually probably quite decent. This is just a grey one. That's what it looks like. And then we've got this little black one which is actually really nice. That's what it looks like. So obviously I'm going to be wearing one of these in the birthing pool. If I get a birthing pool, who knows? I don't know if I'll be able to have a water birth because there's so many things that can actually stop you from having a water birth. Like if you, um, I think there's like a certain point you can't go in. I don't know if that's true or not. If your blood pressure is too high, you're not allowed a water birth. Um, if you want an epidural, you're not allowed a water birth. There's like quite a lot of things that can stop you from getting one. Um, so I'm just prepared and prepared for all eventualities, I think. Um, so yeah, there's another one there. And then here's the third one. This one's actually probably the one that I would use because it just looks a little bit nicer. Um, I think this is like the birthing pool bra of choice. There you go, three bras. Don't know if we need all those, but there you go. Then we have some little slip-on slippers. I wanted these ones because I've kind of got like the easy bit at the back where you just like slide them on and off. Um, these are cute. I really like them. They actually don't make my feet really comfortable. I am someone who, I don't know if I've just got really hard feet, but in general, like, slippers actually really do hurt my feet. But I wanted to take a pair in just in case, just because I thought it would make me feel a little bit cosier. And like I said, when you're in hospital, you deserve to feel good about yourself. Even after having a baby, I don't think you're going to be feeling too great. So just these little home comforts, guys, make the difference. We have got, I've packed quite a lot of these, huge maternity pads. Probably going to need, well, I think I've packed about 20, if I'm being honest with you guys. Um, but these are just pads you put in your pants, obviously. Some people double them up. So you've got this big chunky wedge in your pants, which I don't think would be very comfortable. Obviously, I don't need to tell you guys, even whatever way the baby comes out, you're going to bleed. So just taking quite a lot of those. Those are just, I've only got two there in that section of the bag because they were like the going home ones or whatever. So don't worry, I'm taking more than two because I think I'll need them. And then, oh, actually, there's more pyjamas in here that I forgot to show you guys. These are from Matalan. They're actually so amazing. I'm going to link these along with everything else. I'm sure they were only £10, but these are just trousers and a top. Um, and they are so comfortable. They're so loose. Obviously, I can breastfeed in these because I can just pull it down um, because they're big enough and they're just... I don't know if these are maternity. I can't actually see. It just says time to dream um but these are just black and they've got sparkles and they're quite thin i've heard a lot of people say that hospitals are like obviously really really warm to keep the babies warm so these might be an option they're quite see-through but they're actually not if that makes sense it's just because i've got a massive ring light in front of you guys that you might think they're a bit see-through but they're not um and obviously i'll have like underwear on anyway so it doesn't matter but i just love obviously i've washed all this stuff 
just smells amazing. But yeah, those are an option in case I want to walk around the hospital um, and then have a dressing gown over the top. I don't think I would really want to wear a nightie. Not that I'm really planning on walking about anyway. I'm just talking rubbish now. But yeah, third pyjama option. Just in case the other two get ruined or whatever. Isn't it funny how your brain works? You just want to like literally pack everything. So what else do we have? We've got a dressing gown. This is also from Amazon. And this is like one of the waffle ones. Like, I don't know if you guys can see what I mean, but it's like the little squared, like the waffly ones. This is like a really, really thin um, dressing gown and it's just got this white kind of lining around it. Um, don't feel, really feel like I need to show you guys this because it's just a thin dressing gown. Obviously, just in case I need to walk around in it. What else have we got? I think that's everything for clothes. We've got quite a big section devoted to the vaginal and boob area, which, why not? I'll just show you guys. So, in this little thing, this is too, I mean, this is also dignified. Basically, these are what you put on your boobs and they collect milk. So it's very dignified. You put them on your boobs and when you're not breastfeeding, this just collects any little bits of milk that come out. There's not really much else I can say about that. There's probably gonna be quite a few people watching this video that's never had a baby before and is just like a little bit grossed out right now, but it gets a little bit worse than that. Um, so yeah, we'll just stick with more breastfeeding stuff, shall we? I'm actually struggling to hold that bag because I need to keep putting it like up and down on the floor. I'm really sorry if that's annoying. So we've got more breast stuff. I can't open this bag. Okay, so these were recommended by Anna Sacconi, who is just amazing. So these are Medalla nipple shields. Um, basically, they look like this. I don't really know how they work. Basically, there's actually two in there, I think. Yeah, there's two. Basically, you put them on your nipples and I think if you're having trouble breastfeeding, the baby can just, like, you put this over your nipple and the baby just, like, sucks the milk out from these. I think that's how they work. Not really 100% sure. I need to do my homework before I actually use them in the hospital. Um, but apparently they are amazing for, like, helping with stuff and, like, the pain and things like that. Then another recommendation, I think it was from her, not 100% sure. These are the Multimam Compresses and these are intensive nipple treatment for breastfeeding mothers. Again, I've actually not really looked into these too much, um, but it says breastfeeding women often experience sore cracked nipples, often due to incorrect latching on. Once damaged, nipples can become painful, making breastfeeding uncomfortable. Multimam Compresses provide direct relief and create a moist wound healing environment to support the natural healing process. So I think, I've not really opened these. They are kind of open, but I've not really looked into them. Basically, it's like a little sachet that you unfold and you put it on your nipple, I would imagine. So it kind of seems to be like a little wipe or something to that kind of extent. And you put it on your nipple to cool the area, I would say. Again, I need to actually look at all this stuff because if not, I'm going to get a shock when I go to the hospital and I don't know what to do with this stuff. Then we've got loads of breast pads. This is just, obviously, I bought these before I bought the actual milk catcher things. Um, these are just to put over your nipples to stop leakage. So that's fun. What's this? Oh, that's just the little leaflet for the Medalla nipple shield that I should probably read. And then, again, we have got this little thing by Lansano and it's a nipple and cracked skin cream. Safe for mum baby, soothes and protects, no need to remove before breastfeeding and 100% natural and hypoallergenic. So basically if your nipples start getting sore just rub a little bit of that bad boy on there and hopefully you're fine. <laughs> now this is where things, I think that's all the nipple stuff. So this is where it starts to get really a little bit grim and I'm really sorry to you guys who aren't having babies. Anyway, loads more pads. I mean loads, I think I've literally packed about 20. Look at that. Beautiful. 
So along with that theme, I picked up some of these and these are the first day's maternity supplies instant cold pack. Basically, this is just a huge pad. You can probably hear it. It's kind of got like this gel stuff in it and then it's got like loads of little beads and what you do is you put this pad, which is just one by the way, in your pants and you kind of like squish this and what it does is it actually like, um, I'm trying to read the back but it's not very clear. Basically what you do is you just squish that and then it's like loads of cold gel almost and that obviously cools down your vag vaginal area just to kind of like give you some relief in case you had a lot of scars. So I packed, I think I've only packed about three or four of those. Three, four, I packed five. Also packed um, a pack of Femfresh just in case um, I want to, I mean I don't know if I'll be using these because that area might be quite painful if obviously the baby comes out of there um, but I just wanted to have these just to feel a little bit fresher. I've also packed loads more pants which you guys were lucky enough to see earlier on. Um, I've packed some paracetamol because apparently paracetamol is actually really useful um, in labour and after labour so we've got a little pack of that. We've got brass trap. We have got spritz for bits. This is apparently amazing stuff. This is by my expert midwife. And basically what it is, is it's a cooling spray that you spray onto like a plain pad and then pop it in your underwear and then it's good. Um, yeah, this is apparently really, really, really good. I've heard so many people talk about this. So between all this stuff, I think we should be good. Then I have a peri bottle. I think that's what you call them. Basically, oh that's from my first days as well. Basically what you do is you fill this, I think it's with lukewarm water, and then when you're going for a pee, you kind of like do this and then you skish the bottle and this skishes onto your fifth and it just, you do it at the same time that your pee comes out, I think, and it just like relieves the area and, um, because apparently the first few peas after you give birth, obviously if you've got like stitching or tearing or anything, um, apparently they're really, it's really quite painful. So doing this and then squishing that at the same time so that the water kind of like almost meets the pee, um, I think it's just meant to be really soothing. So we've got that. Another thing I've got but it's actually in the bathroom and I can't really show you the now because I just don't really want to get up basically is a box of tux pads now they're basically what you can do with them as well is you can also put them um inside a pad it's basically just the same as everything else I've showed you um they're kind of like um what would you call them not aloe vera I, w I actually think they've got aloe vera in them but they're basically medicated pads with what do you call it witch hazel and you put it inside a pad and then obviously put that inside your pants as well and that's just another form of relief. They're also good for hemorrhoids which I thankfully don't have at the moment. Um, but yeah that's everything in this bag. Let's move on to, the, I call it the fun bag basically. So is this cute bag, this is a Calvin Klein tote bag. It didn't cost a lot of money, it came free with the Calvin Klein women perfume. I'm not bougie like that at all, but it's the only bag that I've actually got that's big enough to like fit some stuff in. I keep moving the camera, I'm really sorry. Are you guys okay there? I hope you're okay there. So, I have got this big bag here of beauty stuff and makeup stuff. I just want it to be very clear that I probably won't be putting makeup on, but me and Adam live about 20-25 minutes away from the hospital and I just don't want to go into hospital and be like shit I really wish that I'd brought that with me so I've actually just packed everything that I think I'm gonna need so yeah we've got a little bag of makeup here and in here I'm not gonna take it out and show you guys individually just because that'll take really long if I do it that way but I've got a tinted moisturiser, bronzer, two makeup brushes I've got uh what's that there 
two little eyeshadows. I've got foundation if I need it and I've got a bit of highlighter and a lipstick. I am not planning to wear any makeup whilst in hospital but I'm quite insecure about my skin at the moment and if we have any visitors coming I might just want to you know like pop a bit on and just make myself feel a little bit better. Like I said at the beginning of this video and I'll probably say it another 10 times, you can never be prepared for what's going to happen and although I've packed all this stuff I still don't really feel prepared for what's about to happen. I kind of feel like you know what I'm excited for the labour, bring it on, I'm going to be in so much pain, I'm going to be hating it I'm sure but at the same time I think it's really important to take things that's going to make you feel good um, and I just think a little bit of makeup might make me feel a little bit better about people coming in and out all day. Like I said, I'm not expecting to wear a lot of makeup. I'm not going to be doing full glam because I can't bloody do full glam anyway because I'm shocking at makeup. Um, but yeah, just a little bit of makeup to help me feel a little bit better. Um, so, taking that with us. I have got a hair turban because I don't know if I'm going to be washing my hair in there. I'm actually really blessed to have, I don't know if you guys can see, I'll try and do it from the side and show you. I have got extremely, extremely thick hair. So if I'm being honest, I can get away with not washing my hair for like eight days, 10 days. Um, but when I'm in the hospital and I've just had a baby, like I said, I might feel like I want to wash things. Um, especially if I have like a water birth and my hair gets all wet. I'm someone that can't really deal with like the wet hairness, hairness vibe. That's definitely not English at all. Anyway, we're taking turban. Probably won't need this, but taking it anyway, I would quite like the option. Now, this is an item that's extremely bougie and a lot of people will probably be like, you definitely think you're going on holiday, hun. I am taking an eye mask. I am someone I know that I'm going to have a baby. I know that at some point I will have to sleep during that time. Um, obviously when Adam's there to look after the baby or whatnot, I don't really know how it goes when you're in hospital. Um, I cannot sleep during the day if there's any form of light. I cannot sleep at night time if there's any form of light. Um, if there's any flashing lights, I can't sleep. I'm just someone that has to have complete darkness. So I'm taking an eye mask. This is a bougie item. Don't know if I'm going to use it or not. I don't think I'm going on holiday, I promise. I'm just taking it in case. Um, like there's loads of flashing lights because obviously like the maternity, not the ward because we actually have like a room but like it'll be light and stuff outside and I'm just preparing myself to have a lot of distractions so that's why I'm taking that. <laughs> I've got a numb bum. I'm really sorry if that was like up and close and personal up in your face. I'm also taking a flannel because obviously if I go into labour during the day and I've got makeup on I'll want to kind of remove it with something at night time. So I've got a flannel. I have got one of these little things. I don't know what you call them. I can never remember. It's like fifth or something. That's probably really wrong. Floof. Not sure. Basically you guys know what that is, I don't need to tell you. I've got a little Zoella lip balm because my lips get extremely dry. I've got a dry shampoo which is probably the option that I'll go down so that I don't need to wash my hair because who really wants to be doing that? I know I said I would like to but who really wants to have to do that when they're in hospital? I've got a hand cream because my hands get really really dry and when my hands get dry they get really sore and like cut. I don't know if you guys get that. Um, so I'm taking a little dry hands cream. Probably won't use half of this stuff guys but I'm just taking it anyway. So then I've got a Sanex um, anti-perspirant deodorant. Um, obviously when you have a baby they're on your skin all the time. You don't really want to be wearing perfume and you don't want to be wearing like strong deodorant. So I've just packed one of those little roller ball things. I have packed some lavender to spray in my pillow. I am someone that just likes the smell of lavender and most nights I actually spray a little bit of this on in my pillow um, just to relax me a little bit. I love the smell. Bougie item, but it's fine. What else have we got in here? We have got shampoo and conditioner. Where's the conditioner? Basically, this is the Herbal Essences Bio Renew Oh, it's got colourants, gluten in it, whatever that means. Basically, this is a coconut milk shampoo and conditioner. Um, 
it just smells amazing. It smells really, really good. I'm hoping that it is actually good because things that have got like coconut oil and coconut milk and things can really make my hair quite greasy. Um, so I've just got the shampoo and the conditioner to that. Don't know where the conditioner is. There it is. Got another flannel just in case. I'm someone that removes my makeup. Obviously we like not soap but like the actual cleanser and then I get a flannel and wipe it all off and then I just use like another flannel to dry it so that's why I've got two. I have got a little brush that one of the kids I work with bought me from Japan and it's really really cute. I love this colour. Just got a little brush because I'll need that. I've got a lip scrub because I've been using um, this lip balm at the moment and it actually makes my lips really really dry. I need to stop using it. Um, but this is just a little lip scrub in case I've got any dry patches that I want to get rid of. I've got a hand sanitizer because when you are holding newborn babies you need to have clean hands. Simple as that. I have got Colgate Sensitive Pro Relief Toothpaste and I also have a toothbrush. What's this? This is Less Stress Essential Oil and it's got Clary Sage, Lemon and Lavender. Apparently Clary Sage is really good for when you're actually like in labour and things. Um, a lot of people put it on like a, a flannel and like sniff it or they put it in their hands and sniff it. Um, I probably won't use this in labour but I just wanted to take it in case. I've got comfort drops in case I'm wearing contact lenses and I go into labour and I need to like can I help my eyes out a little bit? I've got cotton pads. I have got another lip balm because like I said I get dry lips. I've got a pair of contact lenses which I'm not gonna... Yeah, I've got a pair of contact lenses. I was gonna say I'm not gonna drop them on the floor but it's fine. And I've got a Sanex Dermo Moisturising Shower Gel. So, like I said, I'm not expecting to use half of that stuff, but a lot of this stuff is stuff that I'll be using if I go for a shower and things like that, um, which obviously I do want to be doing. So, we have that bag. That was quite a lot. What's in here? Oh, we're actually nearly at the end of this video. I've only got a couple more things in here. Right, I've got my charger, which is this white one, which is all tangled up with a really long cable, because obviously, at some point... Actually, no, I've got two chargers because I'm just prepared like that. <laughs> um, two chargers just in case because obviously I'm going to have to contact like friends and family and if I'm obviously like if you get induced in things you're waiting for a really long time in the hospital so that's why I've got that. And then my next and last bougie item which people probably will slag me off for is I'm taking my Kindle because what I have learned with pregnancy and not even the birth because we've not got to the birth bit yet but the pregnancy everything is just so um you're just in the know in the unknown all the time and i feel like i could go to one of my midwife appointments and she could be like you're going to the hospital uh, i actually had an appointment this morning and my blood pressure was quite high and she had asked me if I'm seeing like any black dots that are floating about, which I said yes. That happened to me last night and she was like, I need to see you again like in a few days time because we need to keep an eye on that. That can be a sign of preeclampsia, which my sister had um, and I've actually been on medication for. So the point I'm trying to make here is um, you're literally just everything about pregnancy is so unknown. You don't know what's going to happen. I had a friend who went in... Um, to a midwife appointment and then she had to go to hospital and she gave birth to her baby like the next morning um so i am packing my kindle on my kindle i can read books and i can watch netflix i again do not think i'm going to hospital for a jolly or for um a trip of a lifetime i'm just taking this because obviously there is times where you're awake and your baby's sleeping and you want to pass the time and i have downloaded a few films on here and yeah I just, I just don't think there's any shame in that guys so that's pretty much the end of the video i can't think of anything else that i've not actually shared with you guys i think i've shared everything now i've got a really big mess to tidy up but i hope you guys are all well i hope you all enjoyed this video i'm really sorry that it was really really long but like i said i just 
wanted to cover all bases in this video. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me. I do want to film quite a lot of like day in the life videos or vlogs. Um, obviously I've done this video and what's in my baby's bag which I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know what other kind of like baby related videos you want to see because I'm quite open to doing things like that and yeah just let me know what any videos you want to see in general. Um, like and subscribe and yeah I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. I'll see you soon for the next one. Bye!